This is the Blockade Pinball Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Freebus, a.k.a. Shut Your Trap. Joining me as always halfway across the world, it's Jared Morgan. Hey, Chris. Hey, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. Yes, we do hope that indeed. Um, so uh, just for our, our podcast-only listeners, so you know, today's going to be a very video-heavy episode. So if you're yeah. wondering how come we're not posting a audio version, it's because most of this is you need to be watching. <laughs> yeah, you watch this one. Yes. Um, yeah. A couple of things. Let's see. Uh, I don't know. Uh, we're, we're, we've got a lot to play here, so we're going to just kind of dive right in. But I do want to say real quickly, uh, in our last episode, we were talking about what uh, what our speculation on the table packs and the surprise uh, would be that's coming up uh, here in September. Uh, me and Jared have gotten the press back, and let's just say... We whiffed. We got it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. It's... You'll find out soon enough. But yeah, we mm, whiffed. You'll see. <laughs> uh, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> moving on. Okay, so here's the deal. Um, today, we were, uh, last time we asked you guys, uh, we wanted to talk about um, tables that Zen needs to update, fix, change the code on. Mm. Uh, and this was all brought about because of Homeworld where me and Jared were just painfully bored. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so In a word, yes. You're quite right. Yes. Um, so uh, we had people uh, go ahead and chime in on Discord, uh, some of their picks. Um, me and Jared have come up with some of our picks. And I mm. just kind of felt the best way of doing this would be to actually just throw the tables up on the screen and uh, doing kind of a little let's play, you might say. Uh, Mini let's play, we're... yeah, sort of talking through the elements that we're not happy with. Yeah, I mean, some of them, you know, in some cases, there, there's been some really good feedback on Discord about some of the the modes and some of these tables, but you know, there's no way we can get to those easily in the scope of an episode. So yeah, can... uh, interestingly enough, I think that my version of what I want code updated is different in a lot of ways than other people's because mine mainly comes down to um, visual cues and audio cues, <laughs> um, mm. less less so about rules. Um, I mean, obviously, certain rules could use adjustment, but I wasn't really. I'm not a rule. I'm not good at thinking of rules for tables. No. I'll just put it out there as that. Um, it's it's not something that I think about all that often. I especially don't think about, oh, this table's terrible for tournaments because you can spam this particular shot. Yeah, I, that's, I'm not that good of a player to, <laughs> to think about those kind of things. Um, no. Whereas some of the suggestions that were being thrown out on Discord were definitely of that variety. Um, mm. They were quite deep insights, actually, which yeah, really... Yeah, so, I mean, obviously, I'm not, I'm not poo-pooing any of that. I'm just saying... No, because they're all valid. Yeah. Absolutely. But it's like, oh, okay, yeah, that's that's deeper than we were thinking. But I'm not going to be getting to wizard mode on any of these things <laughs> <laughs> to show why <laughs> these changes need to be made. Um, and then I know that, uh, and here's where Jared and I's uh, choices are probably going to differ a little bit. Um, mm. I'm, I kind of threw tables out the window if my main complaint was with their layout. Uh, yeah. Because obviously that's not going to get changed. No, the, the underlying no, the code, layout of the game. Yeah, the the code itself might be horrible also, but if changing the code is fine, but you still have a horrible layout, then that's not going to fix things. So, like, and I'll give you a prime example. Uh, Venom, it, there's no code fixing to make that table more fun because it's literally <clears> these little tiny half tables. <laughs> and I'm just like, yeah. nothing's going to work on that. So, Correct. Yeah, so you've got to work, the, the whole idea behind this is take the existing layout, work within the scope of that layout, and just make some minor corrections. Well, potentially minor. When we say minor, we don't know what's involved, but yeah. to our mind, it's minor. Um, just to sort of make the table a little bit more accessible and a little bit easier to get your head around. Yes. Mm. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and uh, load up FX3. And uh, we're going to take a look at some of these here tables. Uh, da, 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 da. I want to give me one second, folks. Even though I have two screens, it's still not easy to switch between them as I do this kind of thing. <laughs> no. 
That's funny. Uh, I fired up FX3 the other day and was playing around with some of the Williams tables. Um, and it was an interesting contrast between the two. Like I was playing Safecracker um, and I noticed that even with maximum settings in FX3, yeah, um, like the things like the Chrome and stuff looks totally different in FX3. Oh yeah. Um, in, compared to FX. Uh, like it, it's funny like it looks less smooth actually which could just be a combination of settings that I'm using like my aliasing settings must be a little bit too dialed up yeah. so I'm getting a lot of noise on the chrome surfaces um, but in FX3 it's not that noisy it just looks like really nice chrome um, righto righto so let's we're going to start off with the uh, the one table that popped up uh, both in Jared's list my list and <laughs> up on the discord, discord. Shaman! Shaman, hello. Uh, yes, what a pile of crap. Uh, <laughs> so yep. here's the deal. I actually like the layout somewhat on Shaman. Um, spinny discs, good. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, the jumper wrap, good. Uh, yeah. The upper play field is not bad. Um, you know, it's got a little bit of an Indiana Jones uh, uh, tilt table over there. Um, ramp action. Mid this is basically stuff. Indiana Jones. Yeah, I mean, what this is. I'm not. This was their homage to it. Yeah, I'm not insulted at all by the playfield, but the code is just. It's I got think, issues. So let's get into like, these issues. <laughs> the thing for me, it looks a little bit like, like a table made of meat. This has got a lot of brown on it. Look at it. Like it's. <laughs> it's just very, very brown. So something red. that I've noticed a lot with. Um, this one doesn't do too much of a bad job in terms of, hey, look, blinky lights, you should shoot those. So, okay, yeah, I'll try and yeah. shoot blinky lights. That's that's fine. But yeah. what it doesn't do is it has zero callouts to help you. It just yeah. does the, uh, uh, oh, I'm trying to listen for some of them because they repeat ad nauseum. Mm. Um, let's try and get something. Um, but the DMD never gives you time to read it. Uh, it doesn't really no. have any easy modes to get to. There's no, no story. <laughs> no, it's oh, you got to you got to shoot Bongo Man, don't you? To Bongo Man, memory. that's one thing. Yeah. yeah. And but it's, oh yeah, sacrilege! It just says that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So this one is is definitely some something you can do with a few, I guess. Um, Play field, not play field, player helpers. Yes. So, you know, look at the DMD, pause the action when you're actually doing a mode, but also just make the modes easier to get to. Yeah, because you, what do you have to do? You got to get up to the upper play field, right? I uh, think. Yeah, I think. I think. <laughs> and this is the thing, I don't know. And yes, you know, you could look at the rules and read the rules in this, and it would tell you how to do it. But here's the thing, I, I've read the rules on this before. Mm. And then I forget the rules because nothing on the table helps remind you of the rules. And that's a really good point because it's like you should be able to like understand the rules fine, um, but then you shouldn't have to go back through and like you know look if you're in an arcade, look at the the, the rule card on the machine apron and go oh so how do I start mode again? Oh that's yeah. right I do this shot and that shot and then sacrifice a goat oh, and then oh. do this and you know. It, it should be just, here's a big flashing shot with mode on it. Like, shoot that. <laughs> you know? I always, I always laugh at this. I'm entering initials and I got a horrible score. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations on your CAC score. Please like, be proud of yourself. <laughs> I always wish that Sam would just top it at four, four or five that you can put on there, and then that's it. No more. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so there you go. And like, oh, the scroll, the thing about this era of game, and this is a common problem about all the ones that we've selected, the scrolling, the scrolling text, like on the on the DMD, like when you are looking at large messages that they're displaying on the oh, screen, yeah. it's all scrolling text, and it's it's really hard to read. Some of them go past pretty quickly, some of them go past slowly, but. Either way, the scroll, like, look at this, launch the ball, and when it's moving and stuff, when the play feels moving, it's like, oh, okay, there's too much going on, and I lose what's going on. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna quit trying for the uh, side uh, shots, and 
Yeah, just shoot just like, old bongo, mate. Yeah. Well, whirlwind magic. It was so fast. You, like, I'm watching the DMD. You wouldn't have even seen. No, it. I had no but, chance to read that because yeah, I was, was worried about whirlwind the magic. That was spitting out. Yeah, it was. It said whirlwind magic, but it was so fast, like the whirlwind. But even was actually then, what am I? Up, you know, I, I in like a whirlwind animation. No, what are you shooting? Like, there's things flashing, but are they the right things? Like, there's no message on the screen telling you what to do. There's no um, feedback to the player. Like, this is a, a really good example of one that doesn't tell you much. Yeah, it's just random all. call outs uh, that don't help you advance. Uh, DMD that you can never read uh, while playing, let alone if you're just, you know, somebody's watching for you. Because even if yeah. somebody's watching for you, it's still not giving you vital information. Well, that was like, I think it was saying magic on the screen, but I would not know because it was literally one second of animation. Right, it's, it's um, in-lane uh, yeah. light, light up thing. Yeah, that's what it was. Well, okay. There's crazy dude dancing around a fire, which see, adds no value to the, the actual You, you know, know there, I mean, now we have a whole bunch of blinky things, but I don't know, was that just a combo? I don't know. I think you're doing, it's just you're a doing combo. a combo, yeah. Yeah, but it looks really prominent. So, oh, now you're going through the path of adventure. Uh, okay, <laughs> I mean, you know, but... <laughs> okay. But, like, how is this progressing you towards a mode? Like, what is this? Is there modes? That's you what know? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the problem, right? I really don't know. Um, this was... Okay, so now we're up to the... All end. right. So, what am I doing up here? I don't know. I, I guess don't know. I'm spelling you... element is the object here. Uh, By yeah. hitting the various things. Okay. Stand up targets. So... Oh. Uh, what I got M right there in the middle. Oh, and now I'm lost. And you know what would be really helpful here? Actually having lights indicating which ones you have hit and have not hit yes. up there. You know, that's the like. Sure, it says it on the screen, but you got to go E and L, and then you got to like go track back where the thing is because they're not directly in line with the targets. So that's a good example of you know using lights as a way of feeding back to the player, and it's desperately needed up there. Like, if anything, like they should be lit. You know, with actual words on it, called element. Like, you have the graphic behind it, like the image on the stand-up target. But have, like, an actual letter superimposed over the front of it. Also, Zen, can you please do what you did for all the uh, latest um, uh, DMDs for entering a score where it just remembers your... your yeah, thing? that's... Yeah, maybe that's a FX3 versus FX4 thing. No, because uh, anything FX that's been thing. imported from this that was of this era in FX, in Pinball FX still has it. Oh, uh, like right. Yeah. Right, right, right. Uh, so I'm going to show one other thing here. Hold on, let me uh, if you can get to it. There we go. So I'm guessing these are our insert lights that we want to light to get to wizard mode. There, because we have a tornado and a tidal wave, probably an earthquake, a volcano. Um, right. Which means I I'm guessing that's them. these elements up here, but except for oh, none what? of these elemental things match these, which would be a nice visual cue if they did. Oh yeah, you're right. There, there's no. <laughs> there's no symmetry. There, there's no. Yes. You know what I mean? So yeah, that that would help and make them bigger as well, because I don't even really realize they were there. I thought they were just part of the muddy artwork on this table. Yeah. Like, because they, they don't. Like they don't really light up. Because I imagine much. it's light those four, and then this center light on his necklace probably lights. But again, probably. there is zero story to this table. So yeah, th th this is no. This is almost like um, like an early like a 1980s solid state, but with ramps, like with the rule set on it. Like it's it's pretty much shoot the things, and then you light this. You know, you get a bonus, and then you go on and do the other thing. Like there's not very much story to this game at all and you know it's got the bones to actually have a pretty decent it story it really does because like i said the layout is not terrible at all no um, there's lots of fun stuff to shoot on this it's just like understanding what to shoot and where the shots are is yeah. a real problem this this goes into and we, we said that we had to be careful about wishing for this sort of stuff but you know one thing that could be quite useful if they had the time and they thought it was worth the value doing is to actually put the same sort of design into the lights, the shot making in this game. Like actually have, you know, um, indications to the player about what shots to shoot much more clearly. And when 
I think this is going to be also a common theme uh, with some of my code things. Zen loves the flashing light. For yeah, the flashing light shoot, for everything. But I don't need every single thing on the table flashing. Because yeah, what are we doing now? Everything's shooting, like yes. flashing. Um, instead, and how about it be once I hit it, then leave it lit. You know, yeah. kind of. There's a, there's a design aesthetic to a lot of the, the Williams tables that, with their lighting. I just think about. Um, uh, I didn't realize we flipper over there on the left side. <laughs> oh yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> what is that for? What am I trying to shoot with that? What is a cross shot? I think that's to allow you to get the. I um, think it's the to get right. to that hole. It's yeah, it is. Cross that cross shot to that hole is some kind of it, insane combo. Yep, it is. And I, I forget what combo does, but I'm sure someone in the video when we that do literally this will... would be an absolute nightmare of a combo to try and get. It's not fun. It's really hard to get. It's such a late shot on the flipper as well that it's, yeah. it's pretty brutal. It's, and I should point out that Volcano thing, it's not a tilt uh, platform. It's just you change which lights are lit, and you're trying to obviously light all the lights. It's it's very much a pinbot style sort of ball maze style thing, rather than doesn't. Anyway, that's, <sighs> yeah. that's Shaman. It's got it's Shaman, all right. But it, and, and you know what? I mean, I know that Zen wouldn't necessarily do this, but it certainly could use a color pass. Um, yeah, to really make things good. It's more distinctive. Uh, yeah. Eliminates so much of the red. <laughs> it's meat. Yeah. yeah. Shaman is meat. Right, so yes. Brain out. Or, you know what, why do I even want to play the rest of it? Exit. <laughs> why do you even want to do it? <laughs> All right, let's go to uh, table number two. Hey, look, it's right there next to Shaman. Tesla! How convenient. So, Tesla is a table that I love the look of it. Mm. I think it looks fantastic. It looks like a lot of fun to play. It's got yeah. all sorts of ramps and wire trails that I really, really want to send the ball into. But yes. it is bonkers in terms of what the heck am I doing on this table? <laughs> yes. Um, and some of the mechanics on this table as well, the gameplay mechanics, are just the stuff of mad scientist stuff. Yes. Right. So I'm going to let me just launch in here and... Uh, Okay, so let's just like immediately right now. Um, yeah. I'm going to get to a point where I can trap the ball and just point out something. High resonance, whatever high resonance yeah. means. Uh, I'm going right. to just point out something right here as I do. So, do we see over here by this ramp and that little yellow thing right there in the center? Yeah, what is that? That's our mode start. What? what? Literally, that? that's where you have to launch to get the ball up to this, which then you have to knock down all five targets and then shoot the ball into there, that's how you will launch one of these modes down here. Um, is that how you do it? I've never worked that out. It's, I've never realized, I've never connected those two things. It is, mode stuff. and, it and is. this hole over here, which I can't, obviously I can't get an angle on, is so difficult to hit. So yeah, difficult. I, I can't get it. I've, I've, I, number one, you don't even know it's there because there's nothing screaming at you to say shoot this because it's a mode start because it doesn't say mode start on it. No, and you, know? you have no way of craning your head around to even know that there is a scoop or a hole right there to shoot. No idea. No the idea. The only way you would maybe you would maybe guess it is through the table flyover. Yes. But then again, if you go, oh, this is this is nice. You're looking at all the other cool stuff on the table. You're not looking at at holes. Yes. And stuff where to shoot. And um, again. Yes, you can yeah. read the rules. That's what they're there for. But, but even reading again, the rules, this is still one of the most difficult shots to hit. And yeah. this is the... And it, so it becomes really frustrating because you will try... You know, basically the ball comes over here, drops down, there's your <coughs> flipper, you flip over to this, you finally get it up into this, and it's the, one of these magnetic fields, like and if you've played um, Mandalorian, you understand yeah. the frustration. Oh, it's, if it's you've ever played random. Twilight Zone, you understand the frustration. But the thing is, Twilight Zone, it's actually the the mag the mag uh, the magnet save play field. It actually makes sense once you understand how the magnets work, because they actually they they work with physics. But these magnets on that table, I've got no idea how 
they're supposed to work and how you're supposed to control the ball with them. Like, yeah. it, it seems just completely random. And the same with the magnets on Mandalorian. I just spam them. I, I can't work out how to actually get controlled shots with those magnets. So, I mean, so, if you look, there's only two things blinking right now, which is fine. You've got the red thing right in the middle, which is where I would think that the mode start would be. That's That would be the mode start for me, yeah. <laughs> and then the blinking right yellow, which is actually what you're trying to launch to get into the mode start. And you got to get it from that right flipper. There's left flipper. A left flipper, which is... Which just... is pretty hidden. <clears throat> it's hidden in shadow as well. Like, it's underneath the cannon. You'd miss it if you were a novice player. Yeah. Um, so it's a, yeah, it's really hard. I like the, uh, the Tales of the Ara Arabian Nights skill shot. Yes, this, so this there. is another table that kind of steals from others. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which I'm fine with, and, again. And the Ferber ramps from the Shadow. So here you we know. go. We're going to try for this. Oh, no. Missed. And, uh, no, 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 no mode start for you. Damn. And then, lucky you got a ball save. Oh, lucky. Because it does, this is a bit of a drain monster as well. Like, if the outlands are hungry on it, yeah. even with the save. So, my suggestion here to make getting that mode start easier is to take a cue from. Oops. Um, is to take a cue from uh, uh, roller games. Mm. Have the magnet stop the ball right there on the flipper. Yeah. So then you yes. can just flip the ball and it automatically go to that spot. Yes, you would need to maybe light the magnets, you know, with two shots. And then it would light the magnet and have the ball stop right there. But then you would quickly be able to get it into that, which would then send it up to the upper play field. And then you still have the skill of knocking down the upper play field to, to properly start the mode. I think that would solve a lot of the frustration that I have with this table. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. Like the, I, Number one, I hadn't played Tesla for an, like a long time because I haven't really booted up um, oh, FX3 for oh. a bit. Yes. But this is one that I always... Like, I like starting the table and I like flipping around, but it's just... You end up going, well, okay, I, I just spent 30 minutes chopping wood because... Right. I... I I don't know what I'm doing on the table, and it's I don't know what I'm shooting for. Like, there's two things. Literally, there's literally no playfield lights lit at all at the moment. Finally got so, it. There. Here we go. So now, I'm what? Trying to. I gotta get that what one. You, okay, get, get one oh, you time. actually did get it. it. Get in there. Oh. And, oh. Oh, bummer. I didn't get it in the right direction. That's the other thing. What? If you send it to the right, no good. You need to send it to the left. Oh. Uh huh. Yeah. So I'll just. See how it's got a diverter there? Yeah. You need the ball to land on the left side of that so it can go over to this thing, which I don't know if it does the clock or whatever, but that's what will then activate whatever this is. Terrible. <laughs> Come on, guys. That's, that's... So no. you finally managed to get it up there. You finally managed to knock down all five targets, and you're still not rewarded. <laughs> that's, that's probably, you know... Now you've pointed that out. That is actually the number one top worst game. Because <laughs> that is... that It's just punishing you for trying to play. Right. That's now, the thing. It's just horrible. Look, I haven't even talked about is. this. This is a little bit of a hurry up. Once you hit a ramp, now you got to power up mm. everything. But, oh, it's all combo action and the power up's already gone. Yeah, sorry. It's way too fast of a hurry up. Yeah, it needs to be doubled in time. Because if you brick... See, that shot there, to me, that is the mode start shot. It like should be. Tesla. Yeah, that is the mode start. That's a big, like... That's a thing that you shoot, can shoot regularly. And it is great. Now, that mini play field should be changed completely. It's something else. Something else. Like, something else that you don't really need to progress in the game. Because... I can do correct this time. Yeah, good luck. Uh, I mean, oh, look. No. no, and now you got to try and get it up there again. I, I mean, the again. only thing you can say is, well, okay, if this is how this game works, I just have to be an absolute gun at shooting that mode start shot. And I mean, um, it does, it feeds it to that that shot fairly regularly for you, but it's just not an easy shot to get. It's it's a kind of a problem that I have with quite a few Zen tables with their mid flipper shots. 
the, yeah. they're incredibly brutal to try and hit. Yeah, and they're often obscured yeah. as well by things. Like, um, you can't really see the shot you're making unless you go into table overview mode and actually look at the ramps that are available in that area. Like, you can't see it. And you, you use that in contrast with games like Adam's Family with a clearly visible ramp and clearly visible paths that you need to shoot. Right. Same with um, Star Trek, The Next Generation, right? Yeah. A massive, big warp ramp with a big entrance. It's easy to hit, and you feel really good hitting that ramp. So something I don't Whereas... know that if you know about this either, Jared. There is a mm. mini play field, like, you know, the Zen's mini play fields that they love to do where you, like, go into a hidden room. and a... Yeah. There is one of these somewhere. Okay. I think I need to hit this blinky light there. And then I'm going to have to shoot it into the lab somehow. But I can't remember what I'm shooting. And there's no... There. Okay, oh, that blocked the ball. Now i got to do that uh... again. I don't know. It's somewhere around there. Um, okay. If I shoot one of these ramps, you're going to see little light bulbs light up. If I can get one in there. Hold on. I'm going to try that. Nope. Nope. No, and nope. Toast. And bye-bye. Bye-bye. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So, the, I always think about this was the one of the four tables that initially dropped on PlayStation 3. Right. Um, okay. For Zen Pinball. Mm. And, like I said, I really wanted to love this table. Because I really yeah. enjoyed the look of it. But I could not get into it for the life of me. And it's what... No. It was like the best of the four. Because it was this V12 uh, <laughs> Shaman and Eldorado. <laughs> um, right? Yeah, don't get and, me started with V12. Yeah, so uh, it was the one table I wanted to, and I just, I would try it, try it, try it, and go, no, nope, I'm going back to Pinball Arcade. <laughs> yep. Yep. So, yeah. All right, let's move on. Uh, our next one that we both went, uh, yeah, this thing has got issues. Earth Defense! Earth Defense. Oh, God, this. I don't uh. even know where to begin on this table. Because I literally no. have no clue what to do. Yep. Just none. This thing has blinky lights everywhere that even after you shoot them, they're still blinking. They don't progress. I don't know what's going on. No. Me the, either. The callouts don't help you. Um, it's got crazy diverter ramps, so you never know where the ball is going. We got a direct order from the um, like, okay, see those, those chevrons there lighting up? I just yeah. hit it once. So how about... Having like one of them lit. each segment? Yeah. yeah. So, like, how about I go four times? Each yeah. segment lights up another time, and then I know that I've completed that one, and then I can do the same for the other chevrons. But, no. See, to me, I think what they were trying to do here with this game, it's it's kind of Attack from Mars. Kind of? Kind of, but, like, distant enough that they're not going to get in trouble for it. Uh, oh, apparently um, I lit a mode, maybe? I don't know. What am I doing? Oh, I got to hit that thing way up there the blinking uh, yeah airplane. that's the thing like that aircraft plane thing you can only get from the from the uh, no i oh, no, can get from there yeah see, oh, that's it. right uh. okay so you did it and then what do you do now yeah. you gotta shoot it again I, I, and, okay. I did it but i don't i don't know i'm so right. are there any call outs no. oh there you go you show it again okay Drain uh, monster. Was... I don't know. Uh, shoot again, I guess. Get everyone on board. It's saying one person on board. Now, okay. I'm trying to watch the DMV to see right. if there's any. Glad you clues. were able to read that because I don't have time to read it. Because it says remaining on board. But it's like, okay, so now. It said get to the transport. There's... That's what the audio said. Oh, yeah, folks, as usual, Jared can't hear anything that I'm uh, on the tables. So he's not hearing the callouts. Um, so did three, say get to the there. transport, but okay, shoot flashing lane. Which one? Yeah, the big one in the middle, I guess. Well, there's two. There's those green ones that say center overpass. Yeah, I think that's one you got to shoot. But that's the one that's different. Like that's the one that lit up after you did you qualified the mode. So I assume okay. that that's the one you got to hit. So it's that side ramp and the center ramp and I'd imagine you're gonna to have to shoot both Ugh. if you can 
which you can't because right. you need to shoot the shot. It may as well. Oh, I know. forgot. There's a flipper up there. <laughs> oh yeah, there is too. For for okay. those times when you, I don't know what you use it for. I don't know. The but... Zen for a while loved putting flippers like that in really odd spots. Very bizarre. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, you kidding me? There's an actual lane back there. Okay. You're saying civilians get to the transport, but I honestly have no idea what the transport shoot is. It says, let's say, it's just shoot ramp, okay. If I could, you would think that a ramp would be right in the dead of the center of the table would be easy to hit. Yeah, but it's really not. <laughs> like, like it. struggling. <laughs> Struggle city. Oh, come on. Look, there you go. Look. Yeah, it needs robot to be like a... laughing at me because I cannot believe I cannot hit a center ramp shot. There, there we go. go. What happened? That's one. Um, evacuated 10 million. Okay. Is the mode still going on, apparently? Um, shoot the rescue hole. Where's the What's rescue? a rescue hole? Is that where the is? Is that the is? flashing plane? I don't know. Because it doesn't say rescue hole on it, because that's what I'd like to, for it to say. It sure does not say rescue hole. If I look so around, there you is go. there anything that says rescue hole? Of course not. No, there's not. So, yeah, don't... Rule number one with pinball design, don't let the DMD, don't rely on the DMD to actually tell you what shots are. It's got to be on the playfield. That's where the game is, as Gary Stern says. It's always on the playfield, it's not on the DMD. And you should know, it's been around for long enough now. Wow. So, at least on the one hand, this doesn't have five billion things blinking at me, but mm. on the other hand, I don't feel like it's telling me the correct blinky things to shoot for. No. There, I shot that. Did anything happen? No. Um, no, you actually? gotta get on board. It's the same mode again. You gotta, like, get to the chopper. You know? Get to the chopper! Chris. Do it now! <laughs> Do it! Do it! Get to the chopper, Chris! Chopper Toma! <laughs> They're taking you away. Game makes you feel oh, like hey, the mission one. got terminated. Like, seriously? It's <laughs> so now you've got a thing. Now you've got the flashing drop tokens. I love that that view of the, um, the skill shot there. That's really informative, isn't it? I don't even know. Because there's actually you, the skill shot is on the DMD. You've actually oh, got I didn't to, even notice that. Yeah, the skill shot is on the DMD. It's got like this little thing going like around, and then you got to shoot the. It's like a, one of those twitch shoot modes where you got to like shoot the shot when it lines up with the robot. So there you go. You're welcome. I just told you how to get the skill shot. You know. But, but yeah, that view of the um, the APC down there is like literally. It should say instead of the robots are watching, it should say look up at the D and D you dingus and take the shit. See, I'm look hitting this ramp shot. over and over again. You'd think something would be happening. Yeah, go on. Target. Uh, quick intervention is necessary. Okay, good. What, is, what is quick intervention? Yeah, no, no. Please make the hurting stop. What's next? I really don't. Okay, I'm gonna watch now. See, see? Did you arrived. get it? Yes. I think reinforcements I got it. have arrived. Okay. And now you got to shoot the drop targets, I would presume. I'm guessing. I don't know. Okay. So you just shot one of the robots. The invaders need more ammo. Okay. What is? Where do you get that? <laughs> so this is one of those things where I think I don't know. Code-wise, we need a little bit better lighting. Uh, with the insert lights to yeah. guide us to where the ball needs to go. You've got you lots shoot. of things. That's that... a mode. That's a mode start you just did then. Oh. Okay. You just had an artillery Center, mode. Use buttons to select. Left highway, right highway. Sure, right highway, I guess. I don't know. Now you got to blow up the... Where, where's the right highway? Oh, the, that... So the, the ramp, the right ramp. Okay. We hope. Well, that's the thing that's oscillating. So they've got a big oscillating light on it, which is good. Okay, good, and... I hit the off light, did something happen? You now you gotta shoot the center? Well, that's the only thing that's slipping, so I guess that's what you gotta shoot. Oh. Okay, but, but so it's giving me a countdown, but for what? I got two things that are flashing. Awesome. Did I hit it? Struck back, I think you... yeah. I guess? Oh, it's so frustrating Don't that when you the shoot the... the the ramps it doesn't return it back down to a shot that you can actually flip from it, right. like it doesn't let you alternate ramps in the way it returns it back to the flipper 
like it does on Attack from Mars. Because you can, you know, if you shoot the left ramp from the right flipper, it returns it to the left flipper, so you can then shoot the right ramp from the left flipper and combo it like that. But this one, it just keeps on looping, looping you back to the same flipper yeah. again. It's but like, there, there is the ability to do multipliers. I have no idea how to do any of them. Mm. You know, normally, I don't know. There's, it's like it doesn't follow any of the normal pinball rules that you expect no. out of a table um, no. for what to do, and that's where it's just like, <laughs> okay, I have no clue. <laughs> yeah. The, I mean, my note for this literally was, "What the hell is going on?" That's that's my only note for Earth defense because I yep, have no clue what's going on. Same with me too. It's like I don't know what's happening here. Um, I just don't. Jared, do you have any others from the Zen Originals? Uh, those were it for the Zen Originals uh, of this section for me. Uh, is there anything yep. that you want to highlight? Uh, V12. Oh, God. V12. V12 my least is... favorite table. Yeah. This I, is a table I that don't... I feel has playfield issues more than anything. But it literally... I think this is the problem with it. But I, and that's not something you can easily fix. Like the, the design, the underlying design of this thing is really hard to understand it's also Again, visually hard to understand what's going on yeah uh the color scheme like i'm sorry these need lights in front of them these drop targets not yeah, well, not I'd... behind in front yeah that yes <laughs> with an up lighter so, so that we can actually see it there needs to be a light in front of this ramp so that we can see it um yeah, there's just nothing there's no visual clues on this table at all so i mean this one i don't even think we could like do you know how to... I've um, never been able to figure out how to play this stupid table. What is going on with that ramp? That, that looked like an absolute classic vacuum ramp there. Um, oh my... Yeah. So I, my, my biggest issue with this is I, I don't... But if I walked up to this table in an arcade and started playing it, I would have no clue whatsoever what's going on. No. And this is a big thing. Like, it's got a lot of interesting toys on it and stuff. It's got, yeah, it's got a lower play field. Have I ever gotten to that lower play field? I don't know. No, good I luck could. trying to get to it. I have no idea. But, you know, this is... There's good... The thing is that's frustrating about these early Zen originals, in most cases, they, they've got good bones. But they're just... They're let down by the... Oh, look. Half of the oh, hey, look. Hey, speaking of the lower oh, play the, field. Hey, look. So, okay, so what, so what do, do you do now? That's some... That is a oh, serious okay. flipper gap, by the way. That's a, yeah, non-trivial flipper gap. That's that like one. the Grand Canyon of flipper gaps. Uh, an early EM flipper gap. Anyhow. Well, there you go. You got to it. And now one of those lights is lit on the mini oh, paper now. I oh, guess no, you oh. got to complete... Oh, let me guess. Let me guess. You have to complete all of those holes, because it's V12. There'll be 12 holes up there. Okay. You have to complete all those holes so that you get some sort of mode. Oh, wait, that, which, okay, oh, wait, that can, whoa, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's totally what you got to do, Chris. you got to keep shooting that, that cylinder head. Wait, so, so, so how did I get into that cylinder head? There's a good question. Uh, I think I it think was it's, that hole over there? The RPM underneath the, um, the fan blade? Um, which looks like it's locked now. So those are your loot. I think it's that one. Oh no, it's not that one. Huh? Hey, How Wilbur, did you beat the score? Because literally no one plays it. No. <laughs> you, you could be the master on this table purely so because no I one wants think to play it. This over here, apparently that's where multiball is, but see how that fan blade is right. blocking the, the hole right there? Oh, I think that hole is what sends you up to here. But I don't know. So what happens if I hit the fan blade? Or something. I feel like I'm going to have to turn it some way in order to be able to hit there. Then you've gone. Okay. I don't know. Mm, yeah, so this this game, I don't understand. And again, it's, it's, it's just the your, your call-outs are magnificent. Oh, no. There's a lot of uh, generic call-outs in this game that literally don't yeah. add any value. And instead basically go, you <laughs> suck. Yes, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, that's, it, and for the record, this this layout, I've already seen. Have a guess which one this one's mostly taken from. Um, I honestly don't know. Roadshow. Uh, 
Wait, no, look what? At the, look, look at the um, the left flipper. That's a cross shot over to yeah. the stand-ups. And look at how the ball launches right into the pop bumpers directly from the plunge. Yeah. Look at the 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 through shot to that ramp that you just shot then, which is exactly no, like You know show. how much I love a Lawler table. Mm -hmm. So why would I hate this so much? I don't know, because it's got no rules to it. <laughs> well, it's got rules that are unintelligible. That's the reason. And again, there are bones to this table, right? There is real promise Maybe. for what you could do here. But it, I just, you can't get it. Like, unless you really sit down with it and get intimately acquainted with how it works, that it's just, no. I said, I hate B12. So it's my yep, absolute, I never, it's my absolute least favorite table. Yep, I never play it, but it needs to be pointed out in this. All right, uh, what else you got? Uh, what was the other one Were I you had? It was Pasha? Pasha. Yeah, Pasha. Pasha. Um, this game again, it, it looks real nice, um, but it doesn't the really like where you need to shoot. The caravan arrives. It, but again, no it's. Town. It's awesome. stuff is from not giving you enough clues and cues for where to shoot. So we got five million um, things blinking right now. Yeah, everything's blinking. Uh, war, so, like, okay. what is more important? So I hit the blinky shot and it's still blinking. Okay, now it finally got solid. Yep. Um, and to get to the the thing that matters, where that big, like, uh, flashing town. sword is, it's a cross play field shot. That, right to there, is. Yeah. It's brutal. Oh, like, oh, that's. There's a freaking ramp in your way. <laughs> yeah, it's it. That ramp needs to be so much further back. It and then the question is, how do you shoot that ramp? Because that's a fast shot. Yep. That is a really fast shot. And it comes through there at lightning speed. Like this is a really fast table as well. And then you're trying to like shot make with those plates. Like, and yeah, where'd it go? Nowhere. Ooh, nice lighting. Yeah, it does look good. See, again, it's a it's a good looking game. It's got lots of interesting stuff going on, but uh, what am I get to do right now? started on this table is just exercise and frustration. But what am I checking it for? Well, wh where is the skill shot that you're going That's for? That's what I don't I don't know. Yeah, I exactly. really don't know. Okay, Not enough player oh. feedback. I'm gonna try something. If I have the flipper up, what are the? Can I get in there without? What are you trying to shoot for? Enter the cave of London. So I'm wondering if this is one of those things where if I leave my the the right flipper up. Oh, I have to. Oh. I have to have the right flipper up in order to be able to get in there. Which is a oh, really? interesting me mechanic. Okay. Well, hey, at least that's clearly marked where I need to shoot to lock the ball. <laughs> yeah, that big flashing. <laughs> that thing. that's called good lighting right there. There we go. Yeah, that's so like, I appreciate you that. Miss you cannot miss the, the, the thick purple path all the way up to the hole. <laughs> As the rest like of the table is, goes dark. That is very conspicuous. That so is, that's good. That's appreciated. Mm. And that's a good example of doing it right. Yes, that is. That would be a definite good example of doing it. Again, what, it says skill shot. I don't <clears> know what I'm trying to launch to. Check strength meter. Oh, is it one of those, like... Um, but it's not partial right plunges. Oh, you know what I think it is? It's actually like one of those short plunges like you do in Twilight Zone. Where you don't full plunge it, you short plunge it and it dribbles back down the lane and that's your school shot. But it doesn't tell you that. Yeah. Right? Okay, so it says the cave is open. Where is the cave? What's the cave? What is the cave? Oh, that's the cave. Oh, that's the cave. How does it get up there? It, <laughs> that ramp shot defies physics. Like, it... it uh, I, I can't even... <laughs> uh, it, it, it like that ramp shot went up and then literally <laughs> <laughs> like that. That is not possible. Uh, if no ball would actually. See, I do love that. entering initials for an absolutely horrid score. <laughs> yep. Congratulations on your hack score, Chris. You should feel thanks good for, about yourself. It, it should just be thanks for participating. Yeah. Um, all right, I'm done with Pasha. <laughs> yeah, please. Please. Let's put Pasha out of its misery. All right. Um, I'm going to go to my next table. Okay. Which is Jaws. Jaws. Oh, Jaws. Jaws. Good call on this one. Again, another table no that's really quite pretty no to look weights. at. But There's just too many captains so, on this here's side. My, I'm just going to read my notes because it's hard to play and read my notes. Um, yeah, I yeah, put... Yeah. 
Let's see. Insert lights glow rather than DMD count. Oh, okay, I'll understand what that says. Uh, the main thing is it needs to give us time to read the DMD instructions. Yes. And the call-outs need to be better. And the lighting cues mm. need to be way better. So what you're saying is basically everything needs to be better. <laughs> if you're going to put a final point on it. Okay, so Come here we go. On, We're starting. Hey, look at hard. everything blinking, right? Yeah, so what, okay. You would think that if I shoot any of those, the light will go out. Oh, here, let's actually shoot one, and we'll find out. Yeah. Look, there you nope, go. Light's still on. Light, yeah. So, I don't know what happened. You know why I don't know what happened? Because I have to read the DMD where it tells me what happened. A Raging Sea bumper hits. Yeah. The, well, you know, the no, only see, thing I would recommend... Is two more to trigger. So, I have to, let, I have to hit it four times. Yeah. Well, let's look it doesn't here. tell you that. We have four insert lights. Why not light them? Right. <laughs> yes. Yeah, the I only way that this one's playable is if you have the DMD in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. So you can actually glance at it while you're flipping and see the rules as they actually show on the screen. Yeah. Because otherwise, like, in the moment, like right now, if I pause, I have no idea how many times I have to hit a particular lane. There's no, no they're way all of just finding lit. that information. Exactly. And this is like the classic queue, which they're fixing in their newer games. But like just, you know, stack the, the lamps. You've got beautifully arranged light stacks there. Like they're really nice. Use them to indicate yeah. like play. Just, yeah. Oh. Um, Maybe this was a limitation with the PX engine or something. I don't know. When they were doing th this... I table think it's design. a design thing. It was designed by David Endeavor Zooks. Yeah, okay. Is he still with us? <laughs> I have no idea. I don't even wonder what other tables he's done. If you know what other tables he's done... In well, the, we have uh, it printed up somewhere, Jared. Yeah, some... Mm, yeah. It's, it's, I know you can Google search. If you Google search Zen Pinball Table Designers, it'll take you to our uh, Digital Pinball Fans uh, page where we have right. all of them listed. Yep. Um, and I've tried to keep it updated uh, when I can. Um, we should really transfer that page over to our website. <laughs> you know, that's not a bad idea, Jared. <laughs> put, put, that, put that on my list of things to do. I'll just take right. that page and put it up as a resource toys. file. Because it's useful um, to, to have. So expect that to be on the site at some point in, get out. in, There's a shark in there right at you. as a post. Okay, apparently Jobs I'm for Jared. Chief, Jobs for Jared. Say, I'm oh, hey, hey you got a high score here. Did head. I finish something? I did. I finished something, Jared. Look, Beach Duty's lit. Oh, okay. Um, but so how come Beach do? Duty is still flashing? What? Uh, yeah. What do you need to do though for Beach Duty? Well, you have to. You had to hit the lit lanes to plant um, no swimming signs. Oh. But my but. point is, why uh. is Beach Duty right here still lit then? I don't know. It's lit here. That should be now not lit because that I don't be extinguished. need to. Extinguished. I should be extinguished because I don't need to do that mode anymore. Don't, do I? Don't need to shoot that shot anymore. No, you should just turn that light off because you've done it. So if if all you need to do in this game is just shoot the shots until the lights go out, that will be an easy enough mechanic to understand, right? Yes. But because everything's lit still, it's like, well, okay. Now you notice my inlines? They're fully lit, right? It says yeah, well, jaws. Yeah. Um. Am I supposed to do anything with that? Jaws modes. Lock the ball to choose mode. Where do you lock the ball? Where's the lock? The... the uh, doesn't say lock, lock is but where the, the Those two things is. are. Yeah, but it doesn't say lock. It just says big pink lights. And I don't know what I'm supposed to do other than hit them. Yeah, like it's a bash toy, obviously. Jaws mode. Like, lock the ball to choose... I'm bashing the toy. Nothing's happening. That's cage multiball you're going for, but what you want to do is is jaws mode. So what what are you shooting there? It's, the... I don't think it's the cage. Oh, there's the cage is open now. Yeah, but try and get it in there. Good luck. Like uh, the ball is. <laughs> it's probably <laughs> there. Okay, you go. It. You got it. Hey, this that's cage multiball. That's not jaws. No, correct. Though. So what what is the jaws thing? Is it a cross shot? Like, do you have to actually? Oh look, your, your flipper. See how the flipper has got like your upper flipper has got like the little. Well, it did, but there was a little <laughs> sign saying, "Oh, shoot underneath the flipper." Like there was a little where it had that triangular 
oh, sign. There was there. actually a little animation on that sign. Select um, your mission. Oh, hey, look, I selected. Oh, a that's a mission time. hole. So, what? Let's try. Let's see. Next, run around along the beach. Oh, now, thank you for launching the ball before I had time to finish reading that. Yeah, great. Yep. It's it's a really good game mechanic that I love that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this was so in. I'm assuming I'm ignoring the cage lights. That are really wanting you to hit them. And wait, like, I don't know what I'm supposed to be aiming for here. Uh, um, swim along the beach to yeah, swim along the beach. Well, where's the beach? Oh, well, oh, there, right there. There we go. There's one. It was it's a little really? fishy. Oh, so shoot the little fishies. Why did they just say that? I don't know. Shoot but, the fish. But now I have to do a cross shot. Yeah, you gotta do. A, yeah, try and get that cross shot into where? Where is it? You need to shoot. It's not the cage. It's, it's, it's this fish right here in the middle. Uh, going yeah, to. It's basically going to go around here. Well, that's see a ramp that whole... entrance. Yeah, right. Yeah. Hidden behind the cage that you can't see. Yeah. Good. And, oh, no, that's not how you feed the. Oh. No, went the wrong. No. How do I feed that? Um, is it this? Pull my microphone out. Steady. That excited. Wait, wait. Flashing no. the same time. You have to be faster than that, Chief. Down you go. There we go again. Good? There was apparently a way to save the ball. It was telling me the instructions on what I need to do, but then it started the mode before I had a chance to finish nice reading one. and understand what it was supposed to do. Yep. Nice shot. So this game, I think it would be, it doesn't take much to fix. No, this is a fixable problem. They just change how those lights yeah. work. Oh, here we go. Raging Sea, so it's got a wobbly play field now. Which is a fun mechanic. I mean, yeah, no this is it. This is a fun game. I don't like the fact that they've changed the um, the pitch of the play field, so you have to play it in this mode, though. Whoa. But, well, no, yeah. I, like it. I, I kind of think it's kind of a trip, except for when you drain. Yeah, and... Yep, there's no escaping that. That was close. Oh, but it's safe like that, at least. Hurry. That mechanic on the the wheel. Uh, have you seen that wheel being used for anything else? No. That no, I don't know what it is either. Like it reminds me a bit of what they did with one of the Star Wars tables with the pop bumper. The Return of the Jedi. Very, yeah, yeah, it is, and it's a pop bumper the mechanic there, cage. which is also you know they used on Wizard of Oz in JJP. Oh. Um, okay, hold on. That's a hole I need to hit. Live bait. Move the cage. Shoot the. Okay, so you got to I hit shoot the, hole. the cage. Now what? I hit the hole again. Uh. Uh huh. Hmm. Try. Shoot cage hole. Move cage. Shoot the. It's going too fast. I can't read it. And I'm even looking at the DMD. <laughs> going. What? Oh yes. Nice. So I think you can tell folks why I picked Jaws. <laughs> Again, um, it's a really good looking table. It's a good looking table. It, 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 I don't think it's... Well, Chief, I have to say what? Oh, hey, look at that hidden skill shot. Well, at least it was hidden. Oh. I mean, you know, it's fair enough. Like, those are fun to sure find a good idea on the table. You should be really pointed okay. out the so, hidden skill shot. Here, okay. You gotta shoot where the flashlight's pointing. I see something there. But the flashlight doesn't start pointing immediately, which means you can't combo it. The flashlight. Now shoot, shoot that general area that there. General area. Yeah, but Thanks. yeah. Down you go. <laughs> Was it? What well, did it want me to shoot the ramp, or did it want me to shoot the orbit? Shoot the pops, or shoot the pops? No, it wouldn't be it was shoot like, the pops. Just, no, it'd be either shoot this ramp shoot it. or shoot the orbit up around, and come around this side. No, gotcha. they're just shooting that general <laughs> sort of play field area just over there. Somewhere like, in here. What? You know, why have an insert light pointing in your direction when you can have a flashlight that moves? We're going to need a bigger a boat. A big, broad light that moves. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's good. It's good. All right, next. I'm trying to. Why isn't that not letting me... Let me get out of here. Hey, at least oh, it saved that, what that was. It saved your score. Good lord. Um, okay, and then for my... Final top five pick. This ain't gonna be but I think we hit. Oh, oh God, what do I do? <laughs> it won't let you leave, Chris. No. Um, <laughs> we're going to go into Marvel Pinball. I went oh, through man. all of these just to remind myself. Mm. There's tables that I just don't enjoy. Um, yeah, it's not the Fantastic Four Spellorama. Um, yeah, and that, that you're not going to be able to change that because that's no. just how the mode. The the two Avengers tables they have issues. Um, 
um, that I don't think code is necessarily going to change. Um, I don't know. There, there's all sorts of things. I played Iron Man again just to see if I still like it, if, if code would help it even more. Personally, mm. I have no issues with Iron Man. <laughs> I, I like that table. I, yeah. I think it just needs its lead and ball fixed, which I would say once it comes over to uh, pinball effects, that will be solved. Um, Absolutely will be. Yeah, I, I hope. So, you know, um, I could have picked World War Hulk because it is it's a, a weird one as well. In like, it's just such a bizarre table layout. I think that's it its is. main issue. Mm-hmm. Instead, I'm going to pick Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. Oh yeah, I played this I the other day. I couldn't remember Great the table, and there's a good reason. Yeah. It is so utterly is forgettable. By the horrid yeah. hosts of um, Wong. It needs it's, so much help. It's a yeah, really it's, boring layout. Yeah, it, like, it's got lots of ramps to shoot, but the ramp shots are... It's again, it feels like one of those, you know, it's Spellorama, but it's not... Well, actually, it is Spellorama, because you've got to shoot each of those lamp, ramps, and each time you do it, it lights a, a letter. So it is a Spellorama. Where are the defenders um, when I need and it's them? just... Again, it's a pretty looking table, but it's got... It's is got it some. I don't even think well, it's pretty. I think it's visually just boring. There's nothing interesting. Nothing's lit. This is the main thing. There's nothing lit. It's yeah, the only this... two things that are lit are the the three little targety things. Yeah, but the ramps don't have lights. The it looks like it looks like there's a GI problem, or like a, a, a controlled lamps problem on this table. Oh look, now you get a combo. Oh hey, combo. And that's what this game's all about. It's just combos. Which would remind you of say uh, a Steve Ritchie table. Yeah. But Steve Ritchie tables are all about flow. And this doesn't yeah, really they have are. a lot of flow. Mm, uh. um, okay, hold on. I want to see something. So you're saying it's a Spellorama table, right? Oh, yeah. yeah see that letter that's just got lit? I am not kidding. Holy crap. I got it. I, will I have to spell the entire alchemy level? Yes. Really? Have fun with that. It cannot be. Oh. Um, Exit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. I need it. Let me fire off. It def- it's it's definitely uh, so not good. Does it have modes or is it literally? Because I the thing I discovered. Yeah, it does have modes. You got to shoot hit these the lamps twice. They drop down. You shoot into them. Yeah, I think that starts something. Yeah, it, it, there are modes behind those like, things. Where are the bye defenders bye. when I need them? And that I is how you get fail. to them. In fact, I think the, the mode. Battle. One of the main modes is that the far set of targets Great at the top. Evil stirs, master. Um, the yeah. is so if you focus just on the on those standard targets, they drop down, and yeah, you that's can, what I'm um, gonna do right now. The battle yeah. of our lives awaits. Uh, that. Yeah, it says one. And try again. Because I know that I had oh. done this when I was figuring out which tables I want to pick for this. There we go. And there you go. Now you can shoot into there. Okay. I will try. Oh, oh. oh if it'll let you. It better not re- Oh, it has reset them. Oh, that's so brutal. Yeah, it reset them, so you have to Let's open them. Shot. Look at that. Just lovely. Yeah, great. Thanks for playing, folks. Yeah. <laughs> That's one. I mean, sure, you could probably argue that it's not a hard shot to hit, but this is a bit of a drain monster as well as we're seeing. So, any help to actually get through modes on this table would be, you know, kind of appreciated as a, from a player's perspective. One, nearly drained. Yeah. All right, now you got it open and in before draining. Okay. Oh no, you managed to save it. All right, so we're in. In. all right, there you go. Your and mom. now. Okay. Pain. Now you got a mode that you got to do. My astral form to investigate. What is this? Okay, suddenly turned me into Ghost Rider. Someone uh, yeah, totally. My physical form. <laughs> okay. Now, yay what for now? dark mode, but notice how the ramps were supposed to be shooting. They, it says the lit lanes. What yeah, lit they're, lanes? They're mist. That's all yeah, that right. is. It's just mist. That's not okay. lit at all. I'm sorry. That's... Multiplier hmm. increased. You're right, that's not lit. Amazing! Well, and then it's not if, prominently lit. No, and if I hit one, it's not like it stops being lit. How have you escaped no, your home it just keep, you just, just, I presume you just keep shooting them. Right. Essentially, they're like jackpot ramps. And that's exactly what they are. You got, I can't tell because the, the DMV's a bit blurry here. It, it wouldn't be blurry for people watching it. Nice shot! Um, 
It's just that my feed of the video is, is a bit latent. Uh, we got five shots left for left something. So I presume you just got to sh keep shooting. Say four shots, because three shots, maybe? Uh, three shots. Okay, so it's, it's ramp. Two shots. Ramp. Yes, Should be one shot. Left. One shot. Okay, now you've got... S oh, you're beating him. Be oh, something's happening. Oh, okay. Uh, you're successfully retaking your body. Shoot ten more for Relax, extra ball. You, ten, ten more. <laughs> and... Okay. And I earned 25 million for that. Wow. That's a... That's good. But you need someone actually telling you how many shots you got left on the DMV because there's no way of telling. You know, again, um, you weren't using call outs from the movies. Such mastery. So you could have nice shot. done actual recorded call outs. Yeah, you know helping you through the mode. But again, this is, you know, that would have cost extra Light money uh, to actually get custom call outs done. From the voice actor who does. Well, no, I'm not saying. Cool. I'm saying whoever you did just a regular voice actor. Yeah, right. I don't know. I also feel this table is incredibly dated um, because of the movies. Yeah, There's it hasn't. Like most of your Marvel tables have something that's Fantastic. reflected in the movies that you can kind of grasp onto and go, oh, okay, yeah, I, I get that. There's no mirror dimension in this. There's no uh, swirling uh, uh, sling rings being used. Um, yeah, yeah, None yeah. of the effects are what we see in the movie, so it's just like it, 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 it literally Extra has ball. zero connection to the movies. Ball and it's, activated. I mean, granted, it's not supposed to because this was released after the before the movies came out. Correct. So fair enough on that, but you know, it would be nice with the you know the engagement with Marvel if they could have gone, hey, look, you know, we've got this, we've got this property for Doctor Strange. Could we? do a couple of things from the movie and just put it in retroactively as a table upgrade. Like, that would have been an interesting discussion to have. Uh, whoa, it? Jared, I got an extra ball. Apparently I hit the thing ten, ten you, you, times. You, sh you shot the ramps enough times that you got an extra ball. Okay. So now well, there what? you go. <laughs> okay. So uh, pop-up is a give you ball save. So n none of these ever light up, do they? I don't think so. I mean, I have, like, about a, that's, a, that's a waste. These, yeah, this, that's a this massive bit of play field. Like light city. Yeah. Um, okay, Agreed. so I think I did light that insert for okay. beating the mode. But what but a generic you miss insert. It. You'd miss it. It just looks like a part of the artwork. It's, it's, it's not faceted. It's just a light. And, you know? and, it, and it's not distinctive. It doesn't... Th that's poor information. Wait a second. Oh, yep. So then we have all this down here. Yeah, what is all that? Okay, or is any of that lit up? Nope. I, I, I uh huh. I, so maybe, maybe that, I you know didn't... what that reminds me of? That's what? like um, what you see in um, Medieval Madness, where you have those blue inserts that tell you, oh, you got super jackpot. Oh, you got you know defeated all castles. Oh, you know. Right. But but they're. Mm. So that makes me wonder: Are those actual? Are those the modes that once you? Hit the ramp enough times. Th that's I don't how know. you do those. Wh what is the official mode? Is it? I don't know. I don't either. No. Oh, hey. Okay. So let's see what happens if I hit that area again. Is it once more Dormammu, or is it going to be something else? Kick back. Kick back. Once. Oof. See, that I don't guy? know what I'm supposed to shoot with that cross. That cross shot. I guess that ramp. Okay, so I, all right. If, if you're currently, it is. It's more Dormammu. Dormammu's so you got to do this mode again. No, something else is happening. Oh, okay. Okay, okay so he flaming head, back dude. To the dark dimension. Welcome back. Did you go there before. I guess. Yet those I sense a weakness in your defenses, Dread One. Oh, okay. I need only my okay, so it's a different mode. Sequence. Good eye. There are more spells right. to be cast, love. Um, yeah. Okay. Anyway, I don't. I sure. Just, I feel that this table needs a severe lighting pass. I could use some different jeweling uh, mm, on yeah. the inserts, and yes. it needs a heap of code changes to make it more playable. Um, yeah. Because right now I'm just literally I'm. I'm flipping for flipping's sake. I don't have anything invested in the shots. I'm not 
like, oh, if I just do this one more time, or, you know, this X amount of times, I'll have, I'll have it. I, I don't feel Where like are the defenders no. when I need them? So, uh, you know Agreed. What? This is... I'm out. <laughs> yep. Um, we're done. I don't even want to play it out. Um, all right. Uh, I think... Let's see. What are, where are we on our time here? Woo! We're going to do we're real back. quickly what some of the other tables were that people pointed out. Um, I'll let you guys be the determiners of if it needs help. Uh, Doom <laughs> was pointed out. Apparently on Doom, it needs fixed quad damage. I have no idea okay. what that is. Now, you that. I, I like Doom as a table. Yeah. It's challenging. The thing I like about it is that even if you drain, like, once you start a mode, if you... It stays available. It stays, even if you drain the ball, it's you're still yeah. in that mode until that mode is timed out or... That's really nice. Yeah, it, it eliminates the frustration factor. Yeah, that's... Um, yeah, because starting a mode, again... Uh, what is the method of starting a mode here? Right here. I just... You just shot it. I just shot it. To get to the surface. Yeah, Maybe right. Oh, of okay. course, I hit the, like, on the, the most difficult up. modes. The pit. Well, you have to... Shoot the spinner to reach... The... No, I think this is the one where you had to... You had to notice what the lighting pattern was, and then shoot it in that order. Oh, yeah, far out. No. Which, if you don't, if you didn't notice the lighting pattern, then you're screwed. Yeah. Definitely not one, like, if you're a first-time player in this, you can't really get the sense of it, like... Um, shoot, okay, so it says... Uh, on the DMD, it's like, shoot the orbits to unlock spin disc orbit hits. The pit. Shoot the orbits to unlock spin disc orbit hits. Five of six. So, the pit is... Wait, where is it? The, the big spinning thing? I think so. Alright, so there you go. Spin disc hit. No, that, that's the spin disc. So... Yeah. Yay, cardboard stand-ups. Cardboard stand-ups. Got him. No, now you got a... Um, Skull flying around. Lockdown. Disengage. Yeah. Lockdown. yeah, this is like I, I like this one. I like, like this. I like there's, there's a ton to shoot on. There's a lot of flow um, to the ball. It is. Yep. Uh, it is a table that you have to figure out what the shots are. There's no doubt about that. Um, oh, I like this where you can rotate the. Yeah, the rotate the pop bumpers. It is um, pretty cool. I think the complaint had to do with. Uh, when it was the quad damage, that once you get that, it's overpowered, and you can just like yeah. score a bazillion points on it. Um, so there's where we're talking about valid. something that's getting deep into the weeds uh, yep. coding, um, which I, I again I don't have an issue with that. It's just in general, I, I have fun playing the table. It's a table that I feel like you could walk up to and have fun and not get ultimately frustrated with. Yeah, it's not like the other tables that have inherent like shot design issues like these ones like you can get to the things you need to get to on this relatively easily sorcerer's lair oh, sorcerer's lair that's a blast from the past um everyone's favorite free table because it's free something on this one apparently it's that you have to hit wizard mode over and over and over again in order to get a decent score right and that because second... everything else is but Whisper then it's that the yet. second wizard mode needs to be more difficult because I'm having a feeling that it's one of those things where um, hey, Whisper. if you start the mode, you Extra complete the mode. And they're saying that the second time you go through wizard, you should probably have to complete it. And if that was the case, right. that would make it more difficult and therefore make it so that the score to be, you know, to get a high score wouldn't have to be so absurd. Yeah, Extra right. Um, and that's a valid, that's for, a valid you know, for competing against other people. Yeah, and this this game is often used in tournaments, like all the self-made tournaments in FX3, because everyone has it. Yeah, like you see would, a lot. I would like the lighting to be better. Um, yeah, me too. What, and when I say lighting, the GI, um, I need more contrast. It's a table that I have a hard time figuring out where the ball anywhere. is going to go. Mm. Um, yeah. You know, that's it's like, I love that when it goes dark like that. I, I love I, like the way this table looks. It actually really is quite an, a pretty table, and that's the thing I like about it. But 
it's yeah, it's everything is sort of like a bit flat. Like this yeah, would except really right now. Right now it looks great. <laughs> yeah, right now you know exactly what you're shooting for, and yeah. this is a really good example of like Zen enhanced design. Like on all the other tables, they could take a cue like this, just go into dark mode and light everything up with like you know different style insert lighting, which is what this is. Which is exactly and what I've been championing with, and they they fixed it a little bit um, for uh, like neon multi ball or yes. strobe multi ball. This is the kind of dark I'm talking about, and yeah. you'll notice the ball was fairly dark. Which yeah, it was. Is also or the important. light was off the ball too. Yeah. But that's what they didn't fix. Uh, in, in, those in strobe and, and yeah, they kept uh, the ball the same, the same intensity. Yep, um, you're right. So yes, yeah, so this one could do with some some work. Yeah, a little subtle work. Not much think... though. It's not bad. No, it's not bad. So, anyway, enough of that one. Enough of that. Enough of that. Mm. Uh, let's see what else is another one that got picked. Oh yes. Da, 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 da. We need to go to Secrets of the Deep. <sighs> yeah, this game. Shark Attack Multi Ball needs a nerfing, according to Binball was 45B. Needs a nerfing. Um, so too powerful. I think this is one of those tables that uh, it's got playfield issues. It actually does. Like this, this it's, is not a fun game to play. And and like you see the thing that's that's flashing, like the crane. You go well. That's significant. I need to, I need to do something with that crane shot. But then it just lights up like this sort of target hunting mode. And it doesn't really do very much. So okay, hold on. So I'm guessing I go over there. Yeah, and then Maybe. it comes straight back down at you. There. It's like this is like a combination of junkyard and their Mars table and yeah. It, it's a bit... Um, oh, look, creature. Creature. <laughs> yeah. Um, apparently, whatever I was doing with the crane, I didn't do it. Yep. Yep, yeah, okay. So, yeah, over there is what lit, so I need to get it over there, right? Yeah. That's a hard shot to hit. Yeah, it is. And then, like, oh, you don't oh, have your oh, flipper that. I randomly got Hold down the either flipper button to make it move. See? Yeah, the really hard mechanic. Like, and you got to do it. You got to know that that's what happens. That's what I was going to say. There doesn't. again, we go with the the make the DMD pause and let me tell you when I'm ready to start the mode, so I can actually read what the rules are for the mode. Yeah. I did not have time to read what was to doing. Oh, hey, look at this video mode. I didn't even video notice. mode. And do you know that the other day I was playing a, a Star Wars table, and it did that. It actually paused the mode, you got the mode, it allowed you to read the overview of what the mode yes. was. But then but then what it did is when it actually was telling you the rules, the ball shot out. <laughs> and so it, it was going, hey, the, the general idea with this mode is to do X. Cool. Okay, and then you start the mode, and it tells you then, after the ball's in play, what you actually have to do. It's like, so they got a half right. But they just need that little bit more. Just tell me what I got to do and do it in two sentences only. Like, shoot the ramps, shoot the flashing inserts. And literally, that's all I'd need to know as a player about what I need to do. You know? So just keep it really terse and simple. I don't know if this crane thing is the mode start, but that is a really hard shot to hit. Yeah, it's because not easy. If you, you wind up shooting the, the slingshot if you wait for the end of the... Yep. yep. Yeah, you, when you're shooting it really late. I yeah. feel like the only time I hit it is when it's just accidentally mm -hmm. inadvertently bumped over there. Yes. Uh, oh, oh, I shot it right when it was too late. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's a tough... So again, this is where I'm saying this is a... I have play field issues on this table. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's going on now? This is a video mode. What the... You just lost because it doesn't tell you what you have to do. Yeah. All right. All right. That's enough of this. Yep. I think we see some problems there. <laughs> yep. Again, I don't know if the code. There's some things that obviously code-wise on that one that I think would make it more fun. Yeah. Um. But I still think that shot Aaron issues. Norm. But then again, that was the thing with Tesla. There were shot issues, so maybe it's redeemable. Mm. Uh, Paranormal was another one. I find this table just incredibly boring. Um, but what somebody mentioned was uh, let's have a reason 
for uh, doing wizard mode. Um, right. Like, I guess there's not enough incentive for wizard mode. Mm. Um, this thing is a, to me, it's a playful mess. Oh. What am I doing? I, it took me ages to try and work out what to do there, right? What, and particularly on those modes where it has a magnet and you've got to use the magnet to sling the ball into the hole, that mode yeah. is so hard to get and so infuriating. It drives me nuts. See, I like it. I like this mode because it reminds me a lot. I like this game, sorry, because it reminds me a lot of Bonsai Run. Um, and I like Bonsai Run. And I like this. I like the apron flip for some reason. And like, no matter how many times I do it, yeah, I still enjoy hitting it, even though it's like repetitive and whatever. It's still a fun shot to do. And there's lots of other stuff on the on the table that's fun to shoot. But but I think it's just like. Oh. You it's know. a slug fest, actually. Yeah. It is. It is a grind fest. Like, I've been able to play this table a long time. And it, it after a long time of playing it, that's where you start to lose the shine of it. Like, it's it gets a bit long in the two. Yeah. So. And that's why I say I don't know that this thing can be fixed with a code fix. No, it's a bit too deep for that, I think. I th I, yeah, I think it's got... Kickback activated! Because eventually the play field is going to be boring to do. Mm, yeah. That's right. See, I don't know what to do. Nothing's lit. You gotta just wait. Now. No, I didn't get it. Yeah. Yeah, this is yeah. If this is paranormal. <laughs> Alright. Uh, what else is on the list here? Uh, Sean was on the list. Sorcerer's V12, Paranormal. Um, oh, okay. I know one. I definitely like this too, but I get what they're saying. Marvel's women of power. Women of power. Champions. Okay. Um, which is right. hey, look, first day of my new summer job yep. rocked. Our new little coffee shop good. Which is you know considering the TV show is Shoot out. Into this hole um, or hit not that the ramp. worst thing in the world. A trickster no. skill shot. Um, I find this Whatever. table to be actually amusing. Um, but yes, once you get far in this table, you can exploit the hell out of it. Oh yeah. For massive scores. Yep. Um, it gets very unbalanced the more you go very through, doesn't unbalanced. it? And I think yeah. that was what the, uh, the argument was for. See if I can catch them all. It is a, it's a fun game to shoot, this one, though. Okay. It's got lots of fun shots uh, to it. Let's see, it says, uh, uh, yeah, the multiple jackbox get just stupid. Ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah for sure. A trickster skill shot? Whatever. You, you have to nudge in order to get that trickster. Oh, you do? Is that yeah. how you go to do no it? No matter, you can hit the softest shot in the world and barely have it go, and it will miss that trick shot. You absolutely have to be uh, nudge on it. Ah, uh, there you go. That's a pro tip. Um, hey, Nico! Oh, and see, this is what I'm talking here? about. Yeah. Hey, look, multiple ball started. And it was really cool. Right? Yeah. I feel like I got rewarded. There's... Spider Gwen had to go. Sorry, Nico. There's toys that are fun to bash on this. There's shots. There's, you know, there's lots of wire forms if you want to hit. Um, yeah. There's lots of appeal, walk-up value to this. Mm. It looks good. It looks good. So I don't think it's a... a it does suffer table. for lead and ball. So when it gets into FX, eventually, it's going to feel fun to play. Yeah. It's not, it feels like dead. So yeah, it's going to be great. Like, this is, this is one that, you know... I certainly it, like this it, better it's than A Force. Oh yeah, it's yeah, way better than A Force. Yes, it is. Yeah, this is actually a really fun, fun one. Anyway, anyway, I'm gonna pause that. Yeah, exit out of that. Uh, what else was chosen? Was uh, da, 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 da. I hate the way these things are displayed. Which one's Octa yeah. Island? Uh, uh old Luke. Yes. Yes, old Luke. Okay. See, this game, this is almost like for me a, something a chill inside out me has game. always been like there. It's, it, it's very sort of peaceful to play this game, Chewy. but at the same time, the way you actually progress, you have to actually be quite selective with the shots, don't you? I guess I rarely play this because it just never appealed to me. Right. It's all about combos in this one. Again. So the red, uh, sorry, not the red, the yellow and the green chevrons, as they light, will complete the uh, the inner rings of the Millennium Falcon in the middle. Um, so you've got to actually shoot them when they're lit to build up the, the inner rings and build up the force. I think it's what they refer to it as in this, even though it's sort of like, you know, 
So, yeah. It's easy enough to start modes and stuff, but what was the criticism of this table? Um, let me get to it real quick. Criticism on this one was endless jackpots. Oh, yeah. To me, it's a table where I just feel like I'm shooting for no reason. I never can figure out what, yeah, why I'm doing anything. Yeah, it's 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 my least favorite of this pack. Yes, for sure. Mm. Yeah. All right, what were the other ones? And we have one more that was uh, selected by our viewers, <laughs> which was. Rome. Oh, Rome. This was this was another one of my my ones that I was going. Ah, oh, yeah. Again, it's a muddy mess. I can't make it out. It is a muddy mess. Um, it has the what well, we already pointed this out. The worst insert lights possible because oh. they just are on and off. They don't look like they're actually glowing or being a part of the table. The no, they just... blank here was apparently. So the center sinkhole hurry up that you have to wait out basically because it overrides everything else. Oh, it puts you in jail. Yeah. Yeah. It puts you in mode jail. Yeah, you're right. And because that's, it's that's the center great. hole, you hit it a lot. Yeah. That's that's actually a very good point. That is not fun. Um, I've got to hate Rome. This, <laughs> apart oh. from being a red muddy mess, which, yes, is very hard to, like, visually understand what you're supposed to be doing. Mm. Um, which, again, we did a whole episode of Fix Rome, Please. Yeah, please fix Rome. Please. Um, and they didn't. <laughs> what, what a surprise. Right. Um, yeah, that arm that looks trying terrible. To... It does. It, just <laughs> it really terrible. Um, again, things are blinking, but there's no progression to... To, you, know, you shoot the shot, but I don't know, did I progress anything by doing it? Because the information mm. is more up on the DMV. Yeah, that's right. So, you know, things are happening, but I don't know exactly what. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's a terrible layout. I no, don't it's not the bad. Layout. Yeah, it's... Um, I mean, the, I shot, the shot making on it oh, isn't God. bad. It's that The loop shot's hard to get, but I mean, yeah. loop shots aren't meant to be easy, I guess, but... Uh, we call yeah, it the, we call it the, the, the um, call outs with our board lady that doesn't you know does not have any bit of a British or Italian accent you might say. No. <laughs> just she just sounds bored. Ball yeah. out. Try Ball again. save. Ball <laughs> save. Just yeah, so pretty much. <laughs> so unexciting. Yeah. That's Rome. Serious mask. Were there any other ones? Yeah. Uh, okay. So that was all that suggested. So my honorable mentions, and then we're gonna wrap this thing up because we've been going a while. We have been. It, it, it takes a long time to play these things. It does. But here we go. This is indicative of a lot of problems. Oh, wait, total. Total so right. Nope. I'm talking. Oh, the fox knight ones. The fox balls of glory. Mm. I'm just gonna throw an archer. Sterling I archer. love the show with archer. This table, though. Oh. This is a case where, yes, they got they used the voices for everybody. Yeah, which is cool. But it's, they, they used it straight from the show. Ridiculous. Nothing no has context. anything to do. They're not. They're just random callers. They have nothing yeah, that's to right. do with what you're supposed to do. Yes, and that's a problem. Um. Nope. 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 They're not integrated into the actual game at all. No. No, you're right. That's that's no good. Which the other is one? where I just literally go, I don't have a clue what I'm supposed to do on this table. Um, it's no. not lit well. Um, the sh the shot making on this is not fun. No. And, you know, plenty of stuff is popping up on the on the DMV, but again, do I have yeah. to read it? Nope. No. Classic um, problems. It's a, it's a spellorama. It is, which is no good. So, I mean, I... Again, it's a table that could have been really funny because uh, the show is really funny, but the callouts have zero to do with what's going on, and yeah. I just plain don't understand what is going on. 
Correct. So, exiting that. Let's go yep. to another Balls of Glory table just to show my point. We're going to go to Bob's, Bob's Burger. Burgers. This is mm. a table that is a wash in blinking Hello, lights. Oh, it is. It's just everything, everything is blinking. blinking. Yeah. What, what the hell? <laughs> yeah. What, and it's, what am I supposed to do here? So, okay, so I shot that ramp, and now it's blinking again while everything else is blinking. Just light the light. Once yep. I lit the, li the light, that's all I need. That shows me progression. But instead, yep. absolutely everything is blinking, which makes it really hard to know when... Because this is the one that you can stack modes on, basically. Yes, yeah. Um, and and it's, it's, it's essentially... It's not really Spellorama, but it is Spellorama. Because you've got to shoot, shoot the shots multiple times to light the character. Yeah. So it's sort of, it's it's fake Spellorama. But then because everything yes. else is lit oh, it's and, okay. and, and flashing, you don't know what you're supposed to shoot to beat the mode. That's right. Um, it also does a lot of, uh, we'll see if we can start a mode at some point. This is to save my family! Um, where it'll all of a sudden have something floating in front of the lane. Mm. But because it's not lit, it's just an animated thing. Half the time you don't even recognize that it's there. Yeah. Um, so, I think if the lighting was fixed, that would be a big help to this. Yes. And then if the things that pop up... Tina, may I take your order? Taking orders. Okay, so where am I taking an order? That's what I want to know. Because oh everything's oh, blinking, so literally. Exciting. Yeah, yeah, everything's blinking. <laughs> yes. Um, I, I, I really want to show something uh, pop up in front of the lanes. To show what I mean by how difficult it is to see anything. This is another table that needs a lot of contrast because you don't recognize the upper ramp. Uh, loop yes. That goes on. Uh, so that upper flipper just kind of gets. It, it blends too much into things. Tension yes. Is no big deal, Mom. Uh, God, this table. <laughs> I'm just. Yeah. Yeah. You, you're you're bored watching. I'm bored. Yeah, watching. I am. And I'm actually. Yeah. I want I want some things to pop up though. So I'm gonna torture you just a little bit more. It's a real crisis, Mr. Frond. It's a crisis! Okay, what's a crisis? Because everything is blinking. Yeah. Wow! Amazing! Play of the way. I have no words. Hit friends, friends lane to increase this. Oh. What am I hitting? <laughs> Where'd that go? Oh, 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 see, up there! It went up there, and I had... No idea. No oh, idea. And then no. I mm. Everyone around is useless. I have to yeah. do everything. Well, thanks, but no thanks. Um, yeah, no. The yeah, exact same so thing can be said is... for Family or for American Dad. Family Guy same. is the only one that has family redeeming qualities. Oh, yeah. This is um, fun. It's not bad. John, I got a deck of cards. Except for one thing. Wheels to look cool. It is the epitome <laughs> of spell out. No, oh, oh, it's. Oh, my God, it is. It is really bad for that. Because you literally have to light everybody's name. Yep. <laughs> no, it's, do oh, perfect. Please don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I like like the theme integration. This is yeah. is quite good, but the spell around it just sours it for me really badly. Really. Oh, this is fun. Yep. Huh? Um, and that's just how you start. The, that's how the modes are started. Yeah, that's the only way to get to them. And yeah. again, I think you can stack. Kind of nice. Modes. You can. Yes, you can start multiple modes at the same time, which is interesting. Yeah. But like I said, this isn't it's not of the four tables, this is the best of the bad. Yeah, this is definitely the best out of the lot. It's easy to understand what you need to do here. Yeah. The, the, the table has a good I'm a dumb cop. I like to give Tom Tucker the shots are easy I'm enough to get. Like but again, but stop everything from blinking. Just light the yeah. B. I'll know that I need the R next on Brian. Wow. Yep. And then the R, which should be lit. Um, the only things that should be blinking is if it's a hurry up, so far. or more importantly, when I start a mode, then you can have things blinking, because then I'll understand that that's where my shot's supposed to go. Yeah, have, have the, the ramps strobing. Like, you know. Yes, exactly. 
Um, this also could use right, right. a nice lighting wow. cast. Yeah. To yep, darken it's up a little table. bit sort of. It, yeah, it needs to be darkened. It's very bright. Yeah, it's that brightest day. Hey, we're a cartoon, so let's have everything fully lit. Super are you, uh, contrast. How are you yeah. coming on that novel? Yeah. You working on? If yeah? this was a real table, like a real Family Guy table, it wouldn't be that way. You would actually. I've seen the real Family Guy table. It's not like this, but you know, it's not designed to be like that. But no. it's, it, yeah, it's very much dark. Peter, are you crazy? So you know, I like that the mode starts through your ball changes. Yeah, I mean, it's got a lot, lot of zen. Send sort of tropes in it that are fun, mm -hmm. but um, um, but see those standard targets would be easier to see if the table if they was had dark, a flashing light and that well, had a flashing light. Was dark and the flashing light was lighting it up. Yes, correct. Hey. Reflecting off. Hey. Of Agreed. So yeah. Anyway, yeah. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna shut that all down. We're going to close this out. Yep. I'm going to get myself back into uh, into the mode of us. There we go. Us. Hi there. All right. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was a long time of, uh, of doing that. That was a long show just to be watching. But I don't know, you guys kind of, it seems like you do like these gameplay ones. Sort of, it's yeah, the, the, the let's play or... where we go through stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Let us, let, uh, more importantly, instead of letting us know what you think, let Zen know. Let Zen know, <laughs> yes. Tell Zen that this is something that will be really useful and actually put it through official feedback channels because the more you tell them this, the more they're going to do something about it, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Because I, I don't know. I thought that they were starting to get better again once we saw Grim. We were like, ooh, yes. hey, things are going This and is the start of the world. And we went, no, we're no. back into it. <laughs> but maybe it's just a case of let's get the, all the designers on board so there's like a minimum baseline of what Zen table design needs to be. It sounds like the developers, are, the designers are still doing their own thing a little bit. And I think there needs to be like a Zen table design rule book that you must do these things. A bit like CERN has with their table designs. Like it, like Gary is allegedly on record saying every game must have three pop bumpers, mm. you know, but even that's been broken with Godzilla because it has one. Yeah. So, and I mean, I, you know. look, I'm sure some people like Spellorama tables. I, maybe. Um, maybe. It's the same thing with, it, like I said, you don't want every single table to be like a Steve Ritchie table where it's just no ramp, 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 no drop targets, you know, kind of instance. Um, I want my Lawler style tables, but that doesn't mean that I don't like any of Ritchie's tables. I do like yeah. variety in the gameplay. Uh, that's not yeah. an issue. Um, but there are certain things that just tick me off. <laughs> um, yes, that's right. That are basic, just like if we've harped on it so many times, but that DMD thing, if you're going to give me information, oh, just let one me read thing. The information. Just change the way you do that, and that will make a huge difference to Massive. everything. Massive. Yep. Um, so, anyway, I don't know. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that. Uh, news should be coming down the pike uh, of what's coming next uh, pretty soon mm. from Zen. Like I said, we uh, we have our press build, so we know it's coming next now. Um, yep. And uh, obviously, probably the next episode, we'll talk about what that all entails. Uh, yeah. So, until then, Jerry. It'll be stuff and things will be on the show next time you heard it there first all right folks mm -hmm. until then bye-bye bye-bye